Upcoming Canadian Border Changes In today's video update, we will talk about Canadian government's announcement on upcoming reduction of travel restriction for fully vaccinated foreign nationals. For those travelers who have got full doses of the Pfizer, Moderna, AstraZeneca, or Janssen vaccines, at least 14 days before their date of travel, the following changes will apply to them. With effect from the 9th of August 2021, vaccinated passengers coming to Canada by air will no longer be required to book a government-approved hotel stay for the first three nights. From the 9th of August 2021, vaccinated American citizens and permanent residents of the United States, who presently live in the United States, can come to Canada for discretionary travel. This denotes that, no specific reason, for example valid work or study permit, presence of close relatives, will need to be shown in order to be allowed to enter Canada. From the 7th of September 2021, all foreign nationals who meet the criteria of being fully vaccinated, are going to be permitted into Canada, for discretionary motives. All passengers will be obligated, to present evidence of double vaccination on arrival. Pre- and on-arrival COVID testing obligations, are still in place for everyone desiring to come to Canada. Also, all travelers are required to download, and complete the Arrive Can mobile app information, which carries on to be compulsory. Significantly, foreign nationals are still obligated to arrange a quarantine plan, in case the Canadian border officer finds that, they are required to quarantine. Unvaccinated children or dependents under 18 years old, and adults who are escorting them, are obligated to quarantine for 14 days, and submit to testing obligations. Please keep in mind that, the content of this video update is meant to deliver, a general guide to the subject matter. Specialist advice must be pursued, about your specific conditions. This is the end of today's video update. Please don't forget to comment below, and share your thoughts with us. Thanks for watching today's video update.